good morning happy friday happy friday everybody i am all by my lonesome today anna is out of town welcome to building blocks with fulgence <laughs> oh good morning paul good morning tatiana good morning david hunt let me fix these colors real quick let me fix these colors uh, let's do let's do red and we could keep the font white yes that's better good morning david katie simpson hello hello good to see you here yes i am solo today uh <laughs> did donna get taken by the ghost in the haunted house you know after editing uh all that footage it's quite possible paul <laughs> that she was taken <laughs> Yes, yes. Oh, man. So, yeah. So, we are... Wait, I just realized that I'm here by myself. Just like... <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We had a few... Um, we had a few questions that we're going to have answered today. One of them is we use uh, animation. There's a scrolling animation that we usually, usually see on our ENN. Uh, there's a shape that just scrolls across the entire screen and people asking us, how do we do that? So I'm going to cover that today. And someone had a question about flying in cameras, camera overlays. They sent in a video. I'm going to show it to you so you can see what I'm talking about. This right here, they're asking, can this be done in Ecamm? Of course, I believe we've covered it before. Uh, where we use different scenes to cover this, right? So we'll cover that as well. And of course, if you have any questions, please let me know so we can go over those as well. All right. So first off, let's start off by covering uh, the scrolling shape that we were referring to, right? We can actually do it right here in this screen. Uh, this way we can get the full effect because we're going to have the shape moving behind uh, this this background image that you see here, right? So we're going to do that. Let's go into live demo mode. And first thing we're going to do, we're going to pull up our text overlay panel. And I'm going to give you a few pointers on doing this because after some trial and error, we found out that not all uh, font types are friendly when it comes to doing what I'm about to show you. So let's go into our emoji panel and let's find the triangle. Should be frequently used. So this one right here, right? We're gonna use this triangle here. Black upper right triangle. That should be fine. So now if we were to bring this in, this triangle is assigned to Helvetica, for example. Right, so let's just bring this in for example, right? And let's try to expand that. Oh, of course it's working today. But this is not always the case. What I found helpful, let's see if we restore default style, let's see if that does anything. Right, so notice I restored default style and I'm kind of trying to do a finger scroll and it's not playing well anymore, right? What I found helpful is actually, yeah, here, this one here, right here, Ping Fang, this font type here. This font type is usually uh, very friendly. The dead pixels are not going to get in your way. So please remember this font type. I don't think if it's HK, SC, or TC will make a difference, but Ping Fang, just save this one uh, and play around with other font types to see if they will kill the dead pixel space. Because with the Ping Fang, I noticed that you can bring the triangle all the way up to the top, for example. And if I want to do a stretch, we're going to stretch it across, right? We're going to do this. So now once you have it like this, you can go back in here and then go style, scrolling ticker, save. So you're going to do something like this, right? Now what I like to do is once you have it working this way, you can hold down the shift key and do the two finger scroll if you're on a trackpad to lower the trans the opacity on that, right? So you have the shape moving. And now 
if you notice here in the overlays panel, we have the triangle here, so we can move it wherever we want to. We're gonna move it uh, right, let's try here in the background, right above background, right? So you can now you have the shape moving there. So that's how we do it. And you can change the color. If we don't want this to be white, we can change it to, let's change it to gold and see if that makes a little difference here. Right, there you go. So there you have it. So you now have that shape move in the background. Play around with it. We normally use triangles because uh, these triangles tend to stretch across the screen depending on the font that you use. Uh, you can try combining the triangles together and create other shapes. You can try squares, uh, circles, but that is how we have that. And normally the triangle, this upper, what was it called? Let's go back in there again. It was called a black upper right triangle. Uh, question, will black upper left triangle work? Yes, it will. Will the lower one work? It's just up to you, right? But we found like the upper one, it looks like it's coming down in the slant. If you notice right there in the corner there, it's like coming down the slant. So that looks pretty cool. But try other stuff now. Try other stuff. Um, why am I now seeing this? I don't know, Dave. <laughs> It's we usually use it on ENN. We have it in our comments, uh, comment screen. We have a text, we have a text background, and we have the triangle kind of like scrolling back there. So, so that's that. Um, Katie's husband just asked if I am famous. Uh, just Katie, the answer is as seen on Ecamm, <laughs> as seen on Ecamm Live. <laughs> that's my answer to that. Thank you, Katie's husband. All right. So that's that. We can leave that there for now. Um, and another thing to note is that with this scrolling image, you are not able to change the speed of it for whatever reason. So let's bring it back up. And if you notice, since we have it across the entire screen, maybe that's why we're not able to change the speed, right? So if we were to bring in another scrolling ticket, for example, let's do... Command N, just text, right? Let's just take this here, add that. And if you wanted to do scrolling ticker, let's bring that in, right? You have this option. You have the tortoise in the hair, right? You have that. Let's remove that. And let's try something else because I want to make sure we know what it is that we're doing here. Let's bring another shape in. Let's bring in this triangle. Since we have the black upper, yeah, let's do black upper left. And let's just have it scroll. Right? You notice that you still have, you have that feature. You have uh, the feature to slow it down. But for whatever reason, let's stop the scroll. And let's bring that, let's bring the triangle back in. Let's expand it across the screen, right? So we have it expanded and let's scroll it. Check that out, right? You don't have that option, but it's kind of like at a fixed speed, if you will, right? It's not gonna get any slower than that or it's not gonna get any faster than that, but it does create a really cool effect. I'm going to turn this one back on and bring it back down where we have background. So it's like right behind everything. Uh, Bicky is asking, can you find the scroll speed if you move it up more? Uh, we can try it again, Bicky. Let's do it. So let's bring the triangle back in. Let's add... And let's bring this, right? We have it at a really good size. And let's go back in there and let's do scrolling ticker again. And if you notice, yeah, it's not there. It is not there. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like it's at a fixed speed for whatever reason. So that, that option is not there at all. 
Uh, you could try other shapes and sizes, but uh, normally we do not find that there. Uh, and if you also too, if you were to just bring this in as notice how, notice how this is scrolling. Let's do this one more time. Let's just bring in the triangle. Let's not resize it. Let's bring this in again. We're not going to resize it. We're going to do scrolling ticker. Let's add that. And let's just cut away to this and come back in here. Let's just see how fast this is going compared to the other one in the back. I would say that they're moving at the same speed. They seem to be moving at the same speed. How about you guys? Yeah, they're moving at the same speed. So again, okay, and then one more thing. Let's slow this all the way down. Now that won't work because now once we slow it all the way down, we can't resize it. We have to resize it first and then add the scrolling ticker effect, right? So this is, it's, it's what you see is what you get, but it does. Yes, it does create a really cool effect. Um, so if you find any other hacks, let us know, um, in regards to the shapes back there. But again, the triangle, especially these upper, uh, these corner triangles, they do really good in, in terms of like stretching it across the screen, right? If we were to go in here and find a circle, uh, let's try this one, for example, this combining and closing circle, right? And let's close this out. We're on the ping fang font. This is pretty cool because notice that there are no dead pixel space, right? It's not a full circle because you have it cut off at the top and the bottom. However, let's uh, move, move this comment. However, you have no dead pixel space, right? So this can go across the entire top and bottom of the screen, right? So you have that. And look at that. I'm still going, I'm still going, still going, right? And of course, we're not on the we're not on the beta. This is on the the native version of Ecamm, right? Where you have these shapes that can do this, right? In the beta version, however, you have a lot more flexibility with the shapes, and you you will not necessarily have to worry about what font type it is, right? But let's just use this and let's fix this right here. Let's clean the interface for a little bit. And let's try scrolling tickering this. <laughs> let's try scrolling tickering this and see what it does. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. You could do a combination of shapes and stuff like that. And then we could lower the trans the transparency on that. And we could bring that back to the body right here. Let's hide the triangle. Right. And you have stuff like that. Right. So just play around with the different shapes that you have in the uh, in the emoji keyboard and whatnot. Now, if we wanted to have both at the same time, check what's going to happen. We cut to a scene. We come back to our scene. Uh, they have to move at the same time. So they're going to be laid over each other. If you notice the triangle and the circle are moving together. So that might not be a good idea to do it that way. You may have to pick and choose. Uh, you may have to pick and choose which shape you want or see if you can combine some of these together and then expand them across the screen and then add the scrolling ticker option, right? For example, if you were to do something like this, circle, where you at? trying to click the circles together, but it's not doing it. It's like, it's only giving me one. All right, let's try this, right? This doesn't make no sense whatsoever, <laughs> but we're going to try it. <laughs> let's do this, right? So we have a combination of the circle and triangle, right? This is a perfect example, but uh, the shape is not the best shape that we can choose. We can do other shapes like that. Let's remove the shadow. And this did really well of going across the entire screen, right? We kind of like scaled it up. And let's add the scrolling ticker option to this, right? It's like, what kind of shapes can we add that can create a cool scrolling effect? 
uh, behind the camera. Right. So that 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 works. The shape it doesn't it doesn't look all that, but it works. And let's hide the triangle again. Let's hide the circle. Let's hide the triangle. And let's bring this one. Let's hide these, some of these folders. Let's bring this one right down here. Right. So play around with them. I think that's the best way to do it. If you want a combination of shapes, type them all in the, uh, the text overlay panel and then expand them and then add the scrolling ticker option. Uh, so you can get the shape that you want. Right. So that's that, but the cleanest I found is the triangle. That's pretty cool. So we're going to leave that for now. Question from a David, how about a scrolling ticker verdict? Listen, 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 listen. We have, uh, we have feature requests for scrolling ticker, uh, from top to bottom, um, vice versa and from left to right. So if you go back into the text overlays panel, we have just this one option here, right? Scrolling ticker. And that's going to go from your right to your left. But David, those, those, we, those, it has been requested. <laughs> those requests have been put in. We would love to have other scrolling ticker options. You know, um, normally uh, the twins ask for uh, what, you know, uh, use case we needed for, but I think it's justified that we're using um, the text for different things and to have the scrolling ticker, especially for text, right? We don't need, we can have it scrolling in different directions. We can have it from left to right or how you said, uh, scrolling them vertically. And there's so many things we can do with that, not just with, uh, you know, words, but with shapes and whatnot. And that will bring... <laughs> the ecamm text overlays and just building blocks in ecamm to the and whole other entire level the next level that would be awesome that would be awesome so please uh once again feel free to go into the ecamm live beta facebook group and put in that feature request remind the twins that it is a much needed feature thank you david uh yes i am 485,000 digital dollars from being free. So <laughs> that's where it stands right now. <laughs> um, how about stars? I T Oh, let's try that. Let's try that. Tatiana. Let's try some stars. Let's go back in here and let's go into the emoji keyboard character viewer and let's search for stars. As of right now, we have the emoji star, which we probably want something where you could actually change the colors and all that good stuff, right? Let's see something. Let's We're going to try this first and see what it does. And then we're going to go back into and see if we have any type of wing dings that, or, or, or bullets that will resemble a star because it might not be categorized as a star. This one, for example, you notice that it doesn't really have that much dead pixel space, but the more we expand it, you have flexibility up there. Oh, this actually works, right? But this is not the, I know this is not the star we want. We want something that's a little bit more flexible. We could change the color and all that, but this does work. Let's add the scrolling ticker just for fun. See what it does, right? That is a good idea, Tatiana. So let's remove this. That kind of reminded me of uh, Super Mario just now. Let's remove that and let's go back in here and see if we can find a bullet. Aha. Why is it not? How come it? Black star. So I had to type black in front of it. <laughs> I just typed star. It didn't come out. So we have this one. We have white star. All right. So we have a variety. So let's try this one. Let's try black star. It's not black, but I don't know. Whatever. Let's try this one. Uh, and of course, any of these, you could change your colors. So right now it's set to the default color we used, which is that gold color. 
and it's currently set to Helvetica regular. Let's see what that does. All right. The point is able to go up there. All right, this looks good. And with Helvetica. Let's bring this like that. Let's try to stretch it across. Yeah. Tatiana, Black Star is going to be your friend in here. And let's change that to scrolling ticker. That is pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Nice. That was an awesome idea, Tatiana. And let's see if we were to bring that in the background, just drop it back there. Nice. I love it. I love it. That is pretty cool. That works quite well. Um, and then these rectangles here are kind of hiding. So we could actually bring this up a little bit more. Boom. Right. So now it's kind of like scrolling over the entire background and just leaving the, the camera overlay. Actually, I liked it better with uh, going behind the rectangles. Let's do that again. Bring it back here. That is awesome. No, thank you. Thank you, Tatiana. Bicky joined the Ecamm Live Beta Facebook group. Awesome. Perfect. Uh, and then I saw some a comment earlier. Hold on a second. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Oh, yes. Thank you, uh, David. Yeah, these, I didn't even have to set this up. This this room, this room came like that. <laughs> so I yeah, put it to use. Uh, placed RGB bulbs in there and nothing fancy. Remote control. And um, there's some floodlights down there also, just a remote control. Uh, no hub or anything like that. And it gets the job done. And of course, like the plan is to, you know, probably paint uh, the walls and give it a more neutral color so the colors can pop off a little bit more. All right. So that is that is it. So definitely, once again, uh, we have different shapes that you can work with. And Ping Fang, Ping Fang, it usually defaults to SC, Ping Fang SC. I don't know about HK and TC, uh, but SC will is, is pretty cool. I believe Paul shared that font. I don't know if I downloaded the font I don't remember downloading Ping Fong. I don't know why I would download Ping Fong. I think it was in the keyboard already. Uh, but Paul shared uh, some links here where you can access the Ping Fang font if it's not already there um, in your keyboard. So, and again, it might not be the only one, right? Check to see if other font types will work aside from the Ping Fong. Some fonts that you already have native um, in your keyboard, if Ping Fong isn't already native in there. All right. Awesome. So that's that. And again, let's go back to here. Someone asked us if we can do something like this. Uh, so this is, I would say host, then host and guest, and then, you know, um, solo, right? Solo, two people, then a solo again like that. I think the best way to do this is to create a combination of scenes uh, in Ecamm versus using, oh, let's go back here. What did I just do? Breaking stuff versus um, putting everything into one scene. So let's try that. And that's a feature that we don't really use often or, you know, I don't know, maybe we sleep on it, but assigning transitions to your camera overlays and having them flow across different scenes. So I'm going to create one, two, three. Created three scenes here. Let's go back into demo mode. And we're going to do host. And then we're going to do host and guest. And then we're going to do guest. So the host, actually, we're going to do source. We're going to do blank source for these things. Let's do blank source. Right? 
So first we want the host to fly in, the camera to fly in. So we're gonna select a new camera overlay. Right, and we're going to click on this little pencil here. And I believe, hold on, let me go back to the video. Let's go back to the video real quick. All right, so the first scene was static actually. And then this one where they both fly in and then the, the guests will fly in after that. So we're gonna do it that way. So this first scene here, this remains static. So we don't have to assign an animation here. Now, when we go to host plus guest, this is where we're going to do some little flying action here. Um, we're gonna go back and have the host here, the host, and then the host, we're gonna add, assign transition, fly in from the left for the host, who's gonna end up on the right side of the screen. So we're gonna do, we're going to do a custom shape here. You know what? This is for Anna. Let's let's bring in the grid. <laughs> let's bring in the grid. The grid is here. And I believe this is where we have the halfway point. Yes. Let's do that. Okay. No, actually, I think it's right here. Move it over a little bit. Right? So we have it right here. All right, this makes it so easy. Thank you, Grid. Grid is available at buymeacoffee.com slash Anna Infulgence. Buymeacoffee.com slash Anna Infulgence. All right, so we're gonna do option drag and add a second. Ah, all right. So it was that way. Hold on, let's go back. It actually is here. This was the halfway point. All right, so now we have this. Let's do option drag. Let's bring in the second camera. And this will be the guest, which is also flying in from the left. So let's see what we got so far. We have this one. It's not gonna be exactly the same. Hmm. Cause you're gonna cut to the blank scene. Let's see how we can do this. Unless the source for this one is camera. Right, I think that works. And then if we go back to screen share, right, you're not gonna get it exact. So you're not gonna get it exact because if you're gonna use different scenes, so we have host, Then you have this, and then you have, now you want the guests to actually kind of like fly in and take over the entire screen. So in this case, we'll probably just go like this. We'll add a second camera, a third camera overlay, I should say, on top of this current scene, and then assign that as guest number one and do transition fly in from the left and take over the screen. So you're gonna have to control this now. Right, so we have, you have this, host static, right? No, no, no animations. Then you have the host plus guest come in like that. And then if you want to solo your guest, you keep it on current scene as a solo camera and have it going like that, right? I believe that's the best way to do it. But then you have to trigger this on and off, right? So it's gonna fly out fly in, fly out like so, right? Let's see if we have any questions here. Yes, uh, so the grid is available at buymecoffee.com slash Anna and Fulgence. Thank you, Paul, for sharing that in the chat. Johnny, Sakafet, good to see you here. Okay, and then, yes, thank you. So Pingfong is native in the font book, yes, because I do not remember downloading a font such as Pingfong. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Tatiana says, I do see the Pingfang font in my font book natively, but I'm a little confused about the font 
versus finding shapes to insert in Ecamm. Can you review the one-on-one -on -one basics one last time? Yes, absolutely. Um, so again, I'm a little confused about font versus finding the shapes. Okay, so we're gonna go over that one more time, Tatiana. And Vicky's asking, put them in a folder and add one second count. Yeah, absolutely. No, you could totally do that, Vicky. Yes, you can totally uh, add a animation, uh, create, put these in an animated group if you want. However, the only thing is that you, you know, if somebody, okay, the answer to this question is that you're not going to get this exactly as, as shown here in this video, right? So we're not going to get it exactly as shown here. Let's see if we can make this a little bit bigger. It will, okay, perfect. You're not going to get exactly like this, right? So you have one static camera, then it flies in this way, and then it flies in that way. So we're not going to get it exactly the same, but you can create an Ecamm version of that, which is what we did here. Let's go back. So we have, let's say, the host, and the host wants to chat with the guest. So now you have the kind of like the, the guest fly in this way. Of course, you could do that on one scene also, but then you're going to have to, you're going to have to, if you want to go back to this, you're going to have to like kind of hide stuff in the overlays panel and show and hide, show and hide. So it's going to get a little tedious, right? Versus triggering the scene. So that's why we try to keep everything in different scenes as possible. So you have the host, then you have the host and guest. And then in this scene, we're going to have the guest fly in, right? You want to make the guest solo. So now it's like, okay, you ask the guest a question, let the guest answer, make the guest solo. And then now, once you're done with that, you hide that, right? So you're hiding an overlays panel. We cut back to this scene here again. So, okay, so tell me about this, that, and a third answer. Boom, solo this way. So you could do it that way, right? So this is way, this way, we're doing it manually. However, if you have it automated, uh, you'll have less control over that. So I, I think in this case, it's best to do it um, manually, right? but you could absolutely, absolutely uh, do automated groups. And once again, if you wanna add automated group, it's this folder right here. This folder right here, you wanna add automated groups. And you could assign the one second as uh, Vicky mentioned. Tony, good to see you here. Good to see you, happy Friday. All right, so let's go back to Tatiana's question here. I see the ping pong. Uh, I'm confused about the font versus finding the shapes. So let's do that one more time. We're going to open our text overlay panel. So Tatiana, where you want to go is right here in show emoji panel right here. We're gonna open that up. So double click that. And here is your character viewer. So this is where you're gonna find all of your shapes, right? You have your emojis. All the emojis, you have arrows, bullets and stars, currency symbols, all types of good stuff, right? And where we found the star was under bullets. And we have it right here, black star. So you have it right here. So this is where we find that. And if you want to bring it into your text overlay panel, you just simply double click it and you appear there, right? And you could add as many as you want doesn't matter. And you could add any shapes for that matter, right? Just double click them, right? And that's how you have that in there. So if you go here, you notice that they're all registering here in the text overlays panel, but we just want the star, right? So now that's your character viewer. In the text overlay panel, you added the emoji or wingding or bullet, whatever you want, you added that there and in the text overlay panel, you are going to change the font type to play around with it. It's not going to change, right? It's, so if I, I, I selected something and it shrunk, it shrunk it down the size, I'm choosing the Pac-Man font. You're not going to really see much change in the shape, maybe the size. But some of these fonts uh, create a, a dead pixel space, right? May create a dead pixel space. And depending on the type of shape that you're using. But for the star, the star is actually behaving. So if we do restore default file, the restore default style. So now it's it's defaulting to this ping pong. Just got to uncheck the background. 
you don't really need the shadow. Click save. And there you have it, right? So notice that you have some dead pixel space right above here and below the two points here. But however, it's kind of like bypassing it in Ecamm. So that's pretty cool. The star is actually a really good shape to work with. Notice that it won't go past the left side of the screen and it won't go past the right edge of the screen, but you have flexibility um, top and bottom. So this is really good shape to work with. That was a really good idea. I uh, hope that helps, Tatiana. Let me know if you still need help with that. Curtis Brooks, hello, good to see you here. Christian, hello from Missouri, good to see you here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, all right, so I don't know if you have any other questions. Let me know about that. I wanted to cover those two things, the scrolling ticker option, and where you can actually have a shape. So we took the shape. We have the star here. We have the star here and we expanded it across the entire screen. And then once we expanded across the entire screen, you could actually add a scrolling ticker option to it. And you have a background moving there. You could use it as a background, you could use it as something else, but the, um, what we use it for, we normally use it as a background. If, especially when we have text, a series of text overlays, you have camera overlays, lower thirds, and you just want to add a little bit of animation, this is where the shapes come in and you could bring in the shape and add the animation that way, right? So that's one thing. Tatiana says, got it now. Thanks, and Fulgence Paul, I'm clear now. Awesome, perfect, 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 right? So we have that. Um, there was something else I wanted to go over with you in regards to the, the scrolling ticker. Fulgence has a star on the Ecamm screen. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, so, so that's one way you can use it. Uh, earlier in the waiting screen, let's go back to the countdown screen here. Um, I'm going to be muted. Right, just some more creativity that you can, uh, more creativity that you can add with your text overlays. Let me bring myself back on the camera here. All right, so I I was using my uh, CarPlay a while a while back ago. Like I I I, I never like finished this design, uh, and I was like, wait a minute, the you know the play the 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 play buttons and the pause and all stuff. It's all shapes, right? So this is all shapes. You know, this is, this is not like a PNG or anything like that. This is all text overlays that we uh, brought in using Ecamm. So if we go in here, let me bring this a little bit lower and let's stop the timer. Right? In the spirit of podcasting and all that good stuff, we designed this. So if you look at here, let's go in here, right? Triangles. Look at that. Triangles and two bars and again you basically here once you once you have them laid out the way you want to now you go and basically go into your different font types and see what you know how you want this to look right because i think if we use a different font type for this one right that doesn't look too good you notice how the, the pause button got a little too skinny and stuff like that so impact looks good impact looks good for actually the pause the pause button but the play buttons you could play around with them and something that you should know is that you don't you don't necessarily have to be married to one particular font type when you have a series of characters here right so if you have these two triangles here oh i don't want the two triangles to be impact i want it to be this one, right? You could change that and leave the two, the, you could leave the pause as impact, right? You could take this now and you could make it something else, right? So play around with that. I'm gonna hit cancel because I like the way it is. But if, if I wanted to, I wanted to make this a little bit thicker, like these two, I can go and right now it's on Game of Squids. It's like a Squid Games font that was imported, but I can make that impact, right? So we go impact, did we skip that? Right, I made it a little thicker now. So that looks cool too. So I can keep that, right? You can do that. 
And this here, this right here is underscore, typed underscore a few times and, uh, you know, gave it a nice, like a thick font and added that. And then of course you have your timer overlay here. And if you notice, this is inspired by actually Apple music, right? So if I'm going into uh, my playlist here and let me see if I can show that to you. Right. Uh, the timer is like right underneath the timer is like right underneath that, uh, the, the bar, the scroll bar, right. Where you could fast forward and, and back out and stuff like that. So it was inspired by that and it's all shapes. So let's go back in here again. Uh, yeah. And then we have the scrolling ticker now live building blocks and then the on unfolding is static and that, and that's that. Right. So just little things that you can do. Right. And just to spice it up and create new countdowns, screens and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yes, uh, this is our uh, this was our dinner playlist <laughs> last night, listening to some uh, some smooth jazz while we uh, while we're dining. Yeah. <laughs> um. No, actually, Bicky, we cannot capitalize Anna because Anna's name, if you notice, is is or is either all lowercase or all uppercase letters, right? So, I don't know if you noticed that. If you check out the, if you check out the title, um, yeah, it should be there. Like if you're you're on you're on YouTube, right? Check out how we spelled it out in the title, right? Building blocks with Anna and Fulgence. It's always lowercase. Right, it's always lowercase. So if you go back, this is the correct spelling. If I did not spell it this way, I would be in big, big trouble. <laughs> so cannot capitalize on it, right? Thank you, Paul. It's either lowercase or all uppercase. That's that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh man. Yes. And then the game, the game of squids, you know, so they could avoid copyright infringement <laughs> is available at defont.com. Game of squids coming soon to uh Flix Flixnet. <laughs> yeah. Uh and then so that's that. And then so those that was two ways we showed you how to use the scrolling ticker. And then the last way, well, it's not really the last way. Ah, no, 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 before that. So I, I, I remember what I was gonna show you. So let's go back into demo mode. Let's go back into the demo mode and let's do this, right? So this was actually done by Bishop Oliver. Shout out to Bishop Oliver, right? Because one, we were, we were in the Ecamm design challenge and he had this entire animated background with cars driving down the street and clouds and stuff like that. And th this is what he did. This is so freaking awesome. So we're going to go into the emoji panel and let's go to animals in nature. Animals in nature. And let's pull up the cloud. Let's pull up this cloud here. And we can have, let's just pull up one cloud, right? Because now this is all about placement and stuff like that. And then we're going to add that. And we're going to make this a little bit bigger. All right. So let's say you had that here. Bishop Oliver had the clouds coming in as scrolling ticker, slow. And then if you want to, let's say we duplicate, whoa, didn't want to do that. Went to option drag. Okay. Option drag is not working with the pro mouse. <laughs> so let me just copy and paste it. Copy command C command V awesome. Right. And bring another one down here and then you could slow us down if you will. Bishop had freaking clouds moving in with the scrolling ticker. And of and then he had a car, like cars driving down, and you know, and he was just using the scrolling ticker feature. That is so freaking cool, right? So just things that you can do. Um, 
it doesn't make sense to have like clouds floating in front of my face now. But if, of course, it's just in the background, this is freaking awesome. Like, I, he, until Bishop did that, I would have never thought to use the scrolling ticker that way, to have clouds going across the screen, right? Or cars driving by. That is so cool. That is so cool, right? So shout out to Bishop Oliver for that tip, right? And so that's that. And then this is what I want to show you. If we go to host, let's do this real quick. We're going to add a scrolling ticker. We're just adding a scrolling ticker. It could say anything. And we're going to add that to scrolling ticker. Boom, boom, boom. And then we're going to shrink this down the size. Let's bring it to like 25. And we're going to actually add the background to this and change the color. And this is fine. We don't need, actually the margin doesn't matter because no, not the margins, the corners don't really matter. The margin is good. The margin does matter. Margins matter. <laughs> it's good this way. So let's leave it like this. All right. So we have the scrolling ticker like that and let's shrink it. I mean, slow it down. Right. Just like how you saw it in this scene here, the scrolling ticker is going across right from one end of the screen to the other. We actually want it that way because we have a transparent background. Um, this is pretty cool because also if you repurpose this for a vertical video, we have it exactly where we want it. And it's not going to matter that the scrolling ticker is like going across the screen because once you have it cropped vertically, it's not going to matter. Right. So but if you come here. And you do not want this to go from one end to the other. Let's mask it. So there's a very easy way to mask your scrolling ticker. And it's this way. You notice how, how you have this text. It just says text and you have that background around it. And it's like that exact kind of like a perfect shape, right? That you want it to. This way you could just kind of like mask it on the edges. But what I normally do, if you want to label it properly, Right, because last week we went over, over over organizing your scenes and overlays. We're gonna go to let's say mask, right? We could just do mask one, mask two this way. And let's lower the opacity on that. Because you just want this shape, right? I believe this shape is perfect for what you want. Take this shape here, like so, right? And you do that the same thing for the other side. Uh, I'm just copying and pasting it. And then we're going to name this mask too, right? So we have like these two masks and this one will go right across the other side. Right? You have it this way. And it's even better when you have a background, right? Cause now it's going to be really blended in. So if you do this, if we make this a background, uh, let's do text return BKND text background. Boom, boom, boom. So we have a background and we're going to go across the entire, the entire screen like so. And then we're going to bring this down. Notice that, right? So now this is actually really blended in. And you simply bring your camera back in or whatever you want to bring back in. It could be screen share, but you bring your camera back in, right? So that is how you really mask up a scrolling ticker if you don't want it going from one end to the other, right? So you have different ways. You have your traditional way, but you can mask it. You have uh, ways you can use it for your countdown, creative ways you can use a countdown, right? And notice like how the timer, the time down there, it's kind of like not the time of this, the, podcast or whatever it's actually the countdown timer <laughs> to go to the next scene and start your show right and we have a variety of ways where we can use the scrolling tickers for your animated backgrounds where tatiana said this is the star the star is really really cool bishop oliver used clouds and cars as scrolling tickers and we normally use the the triangles let's hide this and let's go back to triangle Right. And you have the triangle coming down on the slant. So that creates a really, really cool effect as well. 
right? So you have the different ways to uh, use the scrolling ticker. Going to put love, going to put on a love supreme. Don't understand, Christian. Please, uh, please uh, clarify. And Vicky says, great show. Awesome. That is everything that we wanted to cover today, everybody. We wanted to cover the scrolling tickers. And then we also wanted to cover the uh, this thing here, if you will. Let's go back. This thing here, but in, in an ECAM type of way. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Like, I know exactly who these two people are. I see them in Canva. When you're looking up, like, podcasting templates and stuff like that, these two will come up. And poor her, because her name is always renamed in every single template. I'm like, why can't she? One minute, she's Miss Garcia. The next minute, she's Miss Ramirez. I'm like, but you don't. I'm like, okay, whatever. <laughs> But uh, we did it this way. We have we have a static, well, actually, what used to be. Let me hide these. We had this, right? So this is just the host. And then now you want to bring the host and guest together. You cut to next this scene where, let's do that one more time, right? So we have this as a static scene right static camera then we cut to host and guest where you have this animation coming in so basically we have we have um, the camera as a source in the back like this and then we have these two cameras flying in over the camera and now it's a matter of staying on this scene but then if you want to make your guest solo you're going to trigger it in the same, uh, on the same scene in this overlays panel. So the guest flies in like this and have a guest solo, right? And then you wanna come back onto the screen. You just hide that like so. I think that will be the best way to do it. That's the best way. Uh, you know, that's, I think that's the best way because now you, if you want to go back to just you solo as a host, it might not be a good idea to do it on this scene. You might want to do it here, right? Just cut to your scene like this. You're solo. But then your host and guest on the same on the same screen, you cut back to here. And then you want to make your guest solo. You just do this in and out. And if you have it on the stream deck, even better. I think that's the easiest, easiest way to go about that in uh, Ecamm as of right now. So that is it. That is it. That is everything. You have different ways to use your scrolling tickers. We answered the question. I'm going to tag uh, the good sir who asked about that. And hopefully that helps. That was in the Ecamm Live community. Uh, if you do not have any other questions, we're going to wrap this up. Mr. Doc Rock is back with Ecamm Live demo at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And there will also be Ecamm Live affiliates training. So, both those shows are back um, later on today. Thank you again, Biggie. Tatiana, thank you. Can't wait to see what you create. Looking forward to that. Thank you for the suggestion on the stars. The stars look really, really cool. And if you do find any other shapes that can actually, you know, do the scaling, like have the flexibility with the scaling before Ecamm Live 4.0, because you're going to have an even more flexibility with scaling uh, these uh, wingdings and bullets and all that stuff in ecamm live uh 4.0 so uh definitely play around with that but we have these nice hacks and workarounds before the 4.0 release uh tyler thank you so much thank you so much really appreciate it fulgence to start all by himself <laughs> thank you david that reminds me of, uh what who who sings that it's like a calvin harris or something like that i forgot i forgot what it was uh tatiana says that stream deck is on my christmas wish list nice you're going to love it um there's also going to be another uh tutorial coming out because uh on the on the online folders youtube channel there's one where we show you how to do the zooming in and out on the keyboard but stay tuned for an, a follow-up to that speaking of stream decks uh take care christian 
Yes, yes, yes. And have a great weekend, everybody. Stay tuned again. Uh, Ecamm Live YouTube channel for Doc Rock. Ecamm Live demo at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Followed by affiliate training. Doc is back in Hawaii. <laughs> Enjoy. Peace out, everybody. Happy Friday. Ask that in the uh, Ecamm Live demo today at 2 p.m. I'm, Doc will definitely have a lot better recommendations <laughs> than, I, than I do. Uh, again, Vicky, it's the SE. SE, like E, like Eric. SE215. SE215. And 803 again, uh, Ecamm Live demo with Doc Rock at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Doc will definitely give you a better answer than I can. Awesome. He says, okay. Awesome, 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 awesome. You are so welcome, baby. All right, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>